Father, I thank you for these two. Thank you for bringing them together. Lord, I thank you for just in their lives prior to even meeting how they both came to you, Lord, and you, you won them, you, you saved them. They ded dedicated their lives to following you and then they were able to meet somebody else that had the same kind of love and devotion for you that they could spend the rest of their, their life with. So I pray not only with thanksgiving for bringing them together, but now we pray a blessing on them and their marriage, their life together. Lord, I pray that you would bless them, that you would keep them, that your face would continue to shine upon them, that they would feel these things, Lord, that they would feel your presence in their lives. Thank you, Lord, that you are so gracious, that you are so kind. And Lord, I pray that you would be with them all their days. And we pray this in the beautiful name of Jesus, with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. If you're really going to be one, intimate and growing and, and all that, that God would have you to be as a married couple, then the first thing you're going to have to have is love and respect. I mean, mutual love and respect. And so on this journey towards oneness, you both must strive to be a student of your spouse. The second thing that you really both need to demonstrate as you move towards oneness with one another is being selfless. Then oneness also requires forgiveness. And really to have uh, a marriage that's going to be joyful for the rest of your lives together, it's really just both of you deciding right now that you're just gonna forgive. And maybe the most familiar Bible verse is that for God so loved the world, in John 3, that he sent his one and only son. So here's a God who loves his creation and he sent his only son into this creation to redeem us. So not just saying that he loves us, but actually sending his son to be the sacrifice for us because of his love. God is a protecting God. He's a God we can trust. He's a God we can place our hope in. He's a God who perseveres for us and with us, and he never fails. So both Matthew and Alyssa have written their vows for one another. Alyssa, you have shown me what true and healthy love looks like. You are gentle, kind, forgiving, intelligent, compassionate, beautiful, wonderful, and funny. You are the greatest person I have ever met and the love of my life. Growing up, I always assumed it would be an impossible choice to decide who to date, who to marry, who to spend the rest of my life with. But with you, the Lord has made it so simple. When we were just friends, I suddenly realized that my only options were to either date you or to eventually lose you to someone else. Later, after we had been dating for a while, it just seemed so obvious that I would spend the rest of my life with you. Today, I get to stand in front of these witnesses and vow to do just that. When I look back on my life, I praise the Lord that God allowed me to endure trials and tribulations to see what love is not, so that I can know what true love is. And that true love is you. You are my confidant, my anchor, my support, my love, and my best friend. I vow to do my very best to live my life in a way that points you back to Jesus every time. I will always strive to be patient and kind, and to fiercely protect you and our marriage. I will give you my trust even when all I want is to control everything. I vow to love you as Christ loves the church. I vow to diligently lead you in the Lord and to make a home dedicated to the Lord God Almighty. I vow to keep you safe. I vow to make you laugh as much as possible. And I vow before the body of Christ in the presence of God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit to be wedded to you and holy marriage for the rest of my days. But most of all, in a life where few things are guaranteed, I can guarantee this. From this day forward, you will never be alone. I will stand by your side, and we will weather the storms together as a united front. There's so much more I'd love to say, but I would never have enough words or time to say it all. So for now, I'll just say that I promise to love you forever and a day. Well, you two have made these vows to one another with God as your witness and also, or witnessing this also with your friends and family here with you in this moment. So according to the laws of the state of Pennsylvania, 
and the principles found in God's Word, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Matthew, you may kiss your bride. So the first thing that the couple wants to do together as a married couple is actually worship the Lord together through song. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Hira. Bradley, you could say we go kind of a long way back. You know, when Matt and Alyssa first met, we immediately knew she was perfect for him. Like, oh, get out of town, she's perfect. I have three keys to a perfect marriage, and you have to do them in order. I want you to go home, I want you to watch The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, Extended Edition. Okay, that's step one. Step two, you need to go and watch The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Extended edition, and then I need you to go and step three watch Lord of the Rings the return of the king extended edition <laughs> Once you do those three things you have a perfect match. Okay. No, but seriously stay best friends Always make each other laugh. Thank you so much for having a wedding. We all appreciate it and congratulations and cheers everyone I have known Alyssa since about 2006 Long term, I've always admired Alyssa's tenacity, her deep thinking, her sense of humor and discipline, which all helped me greatly as we went through high school and eventually college together. And speaking of college, in the spring of our freshman year, Alyssa and I opted to take a chemistry class for non-science majors so that we could get that credit out of the way. So I made friends with some senior girls in my Monday lab and I prayed that Alyssa would have a decent lab partner. I only meant to pray for a lab partner, but I guess a life partner works too. <laughs> It all worked out for everyone. Matt met his future wife, who took the reins in the lab as the perfectionist she can be. Whether we're opposites or not, I'm so proud of the person you've become, and I'm so excited for you to start this next chapter. I'm wishing you both many wonderful adventures in the years to come. Yeah. 